All right, gonna try and do a quick video on a uh, teardown of this EJ hybrid block. It's a uh, 2.5 bottom end with 2.0 heads. Uh, it does have the ABCS, I think it's called, variable valve timing cams that are apparently, or supposedly plugged. This one does have rod knock, so that's what we're taking it apart today. And then hopefully we can put it back together and throw it in my friend's car that has blown his head gaskets. We did have this other 2.5 block. I did already separate it. It was just the uh, bottom end, no heads. And we have the crank and rod. All right, we're gonna start with the uh, right side valve cover. I think there's eight 10 millimeter bolts holding the valve cover on. All right, we got the cams out. Now I think we got these four, uh, I think these are ARP head studs and the uh, nut is a 12.14 millimeter. All right, got the six nuts off. Now we'll try and separate the head. studs real quick. Right, these head studs were installed a little too tight. Um, they're really just supposed to be hand tight into the uh, block, but I do have a uh, stud remover. These are uh, M12 by 1.5. So just lightly put the stud remover on and we'll tighten it down. And just keep tightening it till it just breaks free like that. And we should be able to loosen it now. Hopefully twist out the head stud. Alright, so we got the passenger side head off. I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, driver's side. Probably not going to film that, and then we'll split the block open. All right, we got uh, both uh, heads off. Next, I'm gonna try and remove the pistons. Uh, I think we need to remove these uh, little plugs. These are a 14 millimeter Allen. All right, I did get the uh, plugs out. There is a little aluminum crush washer. And then I also did get the first uh, clip ring out. I'm using the uh, smallest uh, clip ring, smallest pliers out of the set. So we got the uh, clip ring out. Next is to get the wrist pin out. So I'm gonna see if I can use this coat hanger and just the uh, little hook on the end. Stick it through the wrist pin, grab it, and hopefully pull it through. Look at that. And got the wrist pin out. Now to remove the piston, I believe we need to rotate the crank until it pushes the piston all the way up and we can hear the rod fall down out of the piston and it might push it all the way back out now there we go the other thing you can do is uh, rotate the piston 90 degrees and uh, the rod will also push the piston out that way these should be fairly newer pistons I think these are the uh, audience says right on there So I'm gonna mark this uh, number one, I'm pretty sure this number one cylinder just uh, starting from the front and going back, and we'll keep all the pistons and rods uh, together. All right, so got piston one out, now we'll work on number two. We do need to rotate the crank. To get the wrist pin aligned in this access hole, so it's aligned right about there. So this was the problem I was having before. These clip ring pliers do not fit through the plug hole to reach the clip. So I couldn't find any snap ring pliers, so I just took these old cheap needle nose pliers and grinded them down to a point. And I think this will actually get in here and hopefully grab this snap ring. Oh, baby. 
Look at that. So we'll use the same coat hanger method with the little hook. And hopefully this one will also pull out. Oh, yes. Come on, baby. Look at that. Second one. Second wrist pan. Let's do the same thing here, see if we can get this custom out. There it is. So this is the top, and I think it is engraved. Saved with uh, left and right on these. Um, but I am also marking them opposite the uh, part number. And I'm pretty sure these are JE uh, pistons specific for a 2.5 block and 2.0 heads to keep the uh, compression ratio where it needs to be. All right, now on piston number three, uh, we are gonna have to remove this plate and I believe there's another one of those plugs underneath here. I was able to get a couple of these Phillips heads out, but I was also able to strip a couple other ones. So I might try and just use a drill bit and drill off the heads. All right, got both plates off. This little plate over here, after I drilled out that bottom screw, popped right off. A little tab right there for a flathead screwdriver or something to pry it off. A little O-ring behind there. And then this piece right here, uh, I think there were three stuck or uh, see these little uh, built head screws in here. Drilled all those out. Once I got all those out, this popped off. I uh, had to pry on this a little bit too. So now this is out. I did try and clean up all the, most of the metal shavings. So, one more plug in there. Right there, let's pop this out and get this third piston out. Got piston number four out. Um, I think what happened was when I was removing the um, little uh, clip ring, uh, I only got it out about halfway the first time. That spring tension may have marred the uh, piston right here where the uh, wrist pin slides out. Um, so I tried to do a couple different things. I tried to take a pocket screwdriver and just kind of uh, scrape any excess metal that may have, uh, you know, gotten marred or whatever by the uh, clip, and I tried to scrape as best I could. Uh, it wasn't coming out easy, so I actually ended up taking this quarter inch extension and uh, putting it on the uh, wrench side that way, all the way through the block, and basically just hammered out the uh, wrist pin. And as you can see, it still does not go in uh, at all. So I'll take this to the machine shop and uh, see what they say. Hopefully we can just kind of clean this up and uh, reuse this piston. All right, now we need to split the block. I'm gonna start with these 12 millimeters. Uh, there's one 12 millimeter right here. Take that out. And we're gonna double check these. This one right here is 65 millimeters. So the one under the rear main is a 12 millimeter head, 65 millimeters long. We'll take these four out up here as well. Yeah, so the one up front under the oil pump is a 85 millimeter bolt. I think there's one more uh, 12 millimeter that needs to come out right here, and minus a 10. Yeah, so we'll take these four out. Uh, we'll take these four out and we'll take these four out. Uh, 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 we'll take these four out.
These two on the left side or driver side are both 150 millimeters, 155 millimeters. Right side, and we've got two on the top and two on the bottom. All right, missed two bolts on the back right side. All right, found died, but I did actually miss one other bolt. I uh, think I loosened this one and cracked it loose. Um, but when I was removing all these ones on the top, I did not remove this one on the very top on the back where the transmission mounts. Um, so I did finally get that removed. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these 12 millimeter bolts. That's one on the top, the three right here, one in the front above the oil pump. The long one goes under the oil pump on the bottom right here. And then one more on the back on the bottom. And then the bigger 12.12 .12 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I believe there's two shorter ones. Those are the ones that are on the back right that just go through the uh, side of the block, not inside or outside the block, not inside the block. All right, so now that all the bolts are removed, finally, we should be able to separate the two halves like that. Now we should be able to remove the crank. Now we should be able to remove the crank. These are 11 millimeter uh, 12 points, so we'll go ahead and start removing these. These are eagle rods, and I believe the uh, fastening hardware comes with these eagle rods. Okay, I can barely see a part number on the back and it looks like uh, the Eagle logo is on the front. So we will label them on the front. Number one. Put it over here with number one. Same thing, Eagle logo on the front. I believe. I don't know if these are directional, I'm just trying to keep them in the uh, same orientation they came off. So that was the uh, disassembly. It's got it all separated. Uh, I'll probably end up taking both of these halves, both of those halves, that crank, those four rods, this crank, these four rods, and these four pistons to the machine shop uh, and see what they tell me.